There's a million reasons why you'd want to record audio coming from your browser, some innocuous and some nefarious. You can definitely record blank video with just the sound in OBS, but that's not necessarily what you want. So to record just the browser audio on Linux, you need two applications and the fairly recent Linux distribution that has the new Pipewire audio system, preferably installed by default. I'm using Fedora 40, but it should be the same with the latest Ubuntu long time support release. The first application is Sound Recorder, soon to be renamed to Vocalis. It's literally one click software to capture anything that goes into a mic that you selected in system settings. And the latter is the problem we need to rectify with the second application called Helvum. Helvum exposes an important aspect of Pipewire. You can route audio and video streams between hardware and software however you like. Pipewire makes some connections automatically. For example, you can see here that Gnome settings service is always listening to whatever audio capture device you selected. You'll notice that while Sound Recorder is running, it isn't listed here in Helvum. That is because the program only opens input ports when it starts to actually record. So let's do just that. Now when you go back here, you'll see Sound Recorder with two ports, one for the left channel and one for the right one. The amount of ports depends on whether you are recording to mono or stereo. You need to make the choice here in the hamburger menu before you start recording. So let's go to the browser and start playing something, like my own video for example. Now we can see here Google Chromey with multiple ports. Because my USB audio interface of choice has 4 outputs, Pipewire automatically creates 4 matching output ports for Chromey and then connects them. But we only need 2 of them, FL which is front left and FR which is front right. What we do now is click on the port here and drag the wire to the sound recorder input left to left and then right to right. Now when you go back to sound recorder you can see the waveform moving. This means you are recording whatever is playing in the browser. If you have a mic attached to the external audio interface, then depending on what you are recording, you might want pressing the phantom power button. This will temporarily cut off the signal from the mic. Alternatively, you can lower the input gain either in settings or on the interface itself. If you aren't a GNOME user or dislike GTK, Helvum has an alternative called QPW Graph. Personally, I find it somewhat easier to use, because to disconnect something, you just click on the wire and then press delete. You can even press and hold Ctrl or do a rubber band selection to select multiple wires and then press delete. Helvum makes things like that unnecessarily difficult, in my opinion, but I can see how it could be preferable to some users. You can also replace Sound Recorder with something like Audacity, especially if you plan to do some editing afterwards. You now know how to record browser audio on Linux. Please use it responsibly and see you in the next one.